Falcon 9 is in startup. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. Go for launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. We are T plus 40 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop off orbit. Moments ago, we did throttle down our engines in preparation for max Q. And that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, which is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see. That's coming up here in a few seconds. Max Q. And there's that call out that we have just passed through Max Q. In about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back. The first of which will be main engine cutoff or MECO. This is where all nine M1D engines shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, which is stage separation. Stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage with the first back stage First stage starting to make its way back to Earth for landing and stage two continuing on its journey with the third event called SES-1 or second engine start one. And that's where the MVAC engine lights up on the second stage and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to its drop off orbit. orbit. We are at T plus two minutes and five seconds. So we're just about 25 seconds away from those three events. Again, that is Miko stage separation and SES-1, or second engine start one. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen, on the left screen, we had main engine cutoff and stage separation. On your right screen is the second stage MVAC engine lighting up glowing bright red there. And it is a bit dark on the east coast. But you can see on your left screen that first stage, those grid fins are deploying. And on your right screen, we have fairing deploy coming fairing up separation here. separation confirmed. And there is that confirmation of fairing deploy. Now let's see if those fairing halves can be recovered by our recovery ships, Miss Tree and Miss Chief today. Again, we won't have that live. That will happen around T plus 40 minutes, so check in with our social media accounts for updates on those fairing halves. And stage two still looking nominal. Again, that is what you see on your right screen. Stage one is making its way back. Position of signal, Bermuda. And as the first stage makes its way back to Earth, it will perform two burns, the first of which will be the entry burn, and that is where three of the nine M1D engines reignite, and this helps slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. And finally will be the second and final burn is the landing burn, 
And this is a single engine burn. That's the center E9 engine that reignites and brings the vehicle all the way down, very, very uh, rapidly slows the vehicle down so that it can touch down and land on the drone ship. Again, we are attempting to land the first stage today on just read the instructions. As our, of course, I still love you drone ship was occupied with her demo two vehicle from over the weekend Vehicles up until last trajectory. night. We are at T plus five and a half minutes. Stage two still looking nominal. And first stage making its way back. That first burn, that entry burn will be coming up in about a minute from now, around T plus six minutes and 45 seconds. And that entry burn will last about 20 seconds long. Again, that is to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage two on your right screen, still on a nominal trajectory. And on your left screen, it is a little bit dark. It is nighttime on the East Coast, but we should see that screen light up with, those, with that entry burn, those three engines reigniting. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn has started. And there you hear that call out as well as a visual confirmation that those engines have reignited. The vehicle continues to follow a nominal trajectory. And stage one entry burn shut down. And confirmation that the stage one entry burn is complete as well as stage two still looking nominal. If you heard that call out. Coming up next is the landing burn around T plus eight and a half minutes, around eight minutes and 24 seconds. Looks like we lost that live view of the first stage coming down, but that is expected. So hopefully we can get that live view back. Right now, what you're, seeing, transonic. Right now what you're seeing on your left screen is the drone ship just read the instructions. Followed very closely after the landing burn and landing of the first stage will be Seco 1, that is second engine cutoff, around T plus 8 minutes and 58 seconds. Stage 1 landing burn has started. Turn on guidance. Landing legs have deployed. Stage two FTS has saved. And wow, as you saw coming and down, GRTI, that first stage, stage Falcon landed. 9. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery one and ECF nine. <laughs> Amazing, that first stage booster has landed for the first time, for the fifth time for a Falcon 9 booster. That is amazing. We're waiting for a second stage engine cut off. What an amazing view of that first stage coming down, even though it, it, it was dark and night, but those engines lighting up the screen, watching first stage come down was Not an amazing view. And we heard a call out of good orbit for second stage. 
acquisition of Signal Newfoundland. And now that second stage is going to, uh, now that second stage is in a good orbit, it's going to coast for a few minutes. And during this time, it will start to spin along its central axis, giving these Starlink satellites Expected the momentum that they signal. need to space themselves out over time after they deploy. So we will take a quick break and return back here at T plus 14 minutes. successfully separated from stage two and made its way back to land on our drone ship just read the instructions which was the first time a booster has landed for a fifth time in spacex history so very exciting stage two is still nominal um, and now we are coming up on deployment of the starlink satellite shortly here in about 40 seconds or so and we firmly believe in the importance of a natural night sky for all of us to enjoy, which is why we have been working with leading astronomers around the world to better understand the specifics of their observations and engineering changes we can make to reduce satellite brightness. One measure we're taking to accomplish this is by adding a deployable visor to the satellite to block sunlight from hitting the brightest parts of the spacecraft. Now let's listen in to that call out for payload deploy. And again, the first unit with the sun visor is actually on this payload right here that you see in front of you. Payload deploy confirmed. And there is that confirmation. We got a live view as it was deploying from the vehicle. Those Starlink satellites are making their way, separating from second stage right in front of you right now. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array. And over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And also, just to note, tomorrow is June 4th. That was actually the anniversary of our first Falcon flight. 10-year anniversary of our first flight. So very exciting.